Well, it's a growing problem in just about every community around the country. Kids going hungry at dinner time. WSBT's Ed Ernstis reports the need has caught the attention of the Goshen Boys and Girls Club, which recently started an after-school program to provide dinner. When the Goshen Boys and Girls Club opened in 1999, its kitchen provided snacks for 150 kids a day. Over time, that need has grown tremendously to 350 kids a day. Recently, the facility started another program to provide dinner for some members. We noticed that there was a real need for a dinner program, so we reached out to our, some of our members who stay later at the night, offered a, uh, a full dinner program. We found about 15 to 20 kids started coming. Then that number grew to more than 100 kids eating dinner. Staffers found a number of kids were going without food at dinner time. We see more and more that kids, you know, as they come here, that they're just so hungry. And um, we definitely think that's because they don't, get, they don't get food at home, whether it be the economy or parents don't have jobs right now. As a result, the existing kitchen dining area was not adequately able to handle the increase in the number of hungry kids. And our facilities were never meant to feed this many kids, either snack or dinner. So we're looking at 2014 to expand our kitchen and our dining areas to be able to, to handle the, the amounts of children and, and that are flowing through our doors. When it's all said and done, he says, the hope is to possibly double the space here in the kitchen area to expand the dinner program and to reach out and serve youngsters who may not have the wherewithal to have that meal. The club hopes local donors can help make the expansion project a reality. With expanded facilities, they feel there's a good chance that even more youngsters will want to take part in the dinner program. At Ernstus, WSBT Channel 22 News. If the expansion is successful, organizers would like to expand the dinner programs at the other boys and girls clubs in Middlebury, Elkhart, and